Good morning everyone, it's Granis here once again with the demo impressions video for the week. And this week we're looking at Keres, Tactical Space Combat. Now Keres, in mythology anyway, is a Roman goddess of agriculture, but I'm assuming they're actually taking the name, given the setting, um, from one of the five identified dwarf planets in our solar system. Uh, this game comes to us from Jotun Games and Iceberg Interactive, and well, let's see what's what. First, as always, we're going to just jump into the... oh, we're not. Oh dear. I don't see an options menu. Now this is version 1.0.1.3. Shouldn't there be one? Yep. No graphics controls whatsoever. No. Let's have a look here. Oh. Game controls is... That's not quite right. All I want to... I have a look at glow on my... Yeah. Okay. This isn't a good, let's be honest, this isn't a good graphics menu. To start with, it was stupid to find because you should be calling it options, not game controls. What is miscellaneous? Other than. Okay, so you should be able to be control and things like that. And it's just a messy menu, guys. Come on. We, we need some. We need to smooth up more easy menus. And why isn't this table to be even? Why are these buttons different sizes and sort of jumbled? Needs a bit more polish. I mean, you're in a box, just box them off into equal sized spaces. Uh. Yes, of course, I want to save the game settings. Right. That's not a good start. <laughs> I'll be honest. You're allowed to just look at other games and go, well, that's an options menu that should work for us. And basically, mimic that. Don't try to come up with something else, and definitely make it look like it's still the dev tool, because it shouldn't be. This is a launched game. It's a version 1.0.1.3. I noticed without a space between version and 1. You need it to really be polished. You need everything to be polished, and that includes the user interface, which includes your options menu. So let's start the demo. I'm not going to do the tutorial. Okay, the solar system is ravaged. The Earth is gone, shattered to pieces. Nothing remains but a huge ring of rocky debris. Nobody knows why the gate malfunctioned. It was built to get... Oh, God. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Bounty Hunter. It's a Spartacus class. Scorpio class. Can I just say there's a lot of classics going on here? Spartacus, of course, best the best known Spartacus was the Rebel Slave from Thrace. Um, Scorpio is, of course, like Scorpion is also a constellation. And the Odysseus class, well, that's named after Odysseus, who was a Greek mythological hero who lived supposedly around the same time as Achilles. So Bounty Hunters, extra 10 damage, 10% 10 damage to pirates, evil looking individual. I'm not sure what this is, and there's no tool tips to tell me what they are, which is kind of a shame. Like, is it a difficulty, or, or what? So he's... What do I get? Speed Demon. You can boost your speed to three times normal, and uh, material expert. If they can't get through your armor. Dot dot dot. Why can't you just write the whole thing? Each level grants plus one resistance to all damage types. So. He seems to be more of an all rounder. Though so they're all pretty average. So I'm going to go on the coolness of the ships. I'm going to go for the Scorpio. Oh, it's also. It's, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of classics going on here. Domitianus. Okay. I'm going to change it to Domitian so I can be a bastard emperor. Uh, I can select a voice. 
Attacking target, Commander. That's a confirmed kill, Took Commander. Yes? That's a kill, Commander. Wee What? Yes. Nothing but debris left. Hostiles destroyed. Hostiles eradicated. Targets destroyed. Uh, I'm awake. I'm just... Uh, nah, okay. We'll be freelance mail number two. Got my next route. Oh, okay. No, I'm assuming... Okay, where... Good God. Can we have some capital letters, please, for proper nouns? So I'm assuming we can't yeah, go anywhere, really. Yeah, just... Okay, a little bit of a pissed off now. Pissed off moment now. I would really... I really think it would be really good if you just... Proper nouns, guys. Capital letters. Caesars. Nephilus. Gaius. Acheron. Should all be capitals. In fact, it's a name of a place, so both words in all of those should begin with a capital letter. I know that's nitpicky. I know, but come on, not that. Old. I mean, I mean, the classics is screaming at me, right? it really is. But and I love that. But you know, so far, just the presentation is a bit. Uh, uh, so I'm assuming we're in a chaos cloud. I do like that the solar system appears to move at the correct rates too. I'm thinking I'm not the most knowledgeable. Oh, that res. That's a stretched image, quite badly stretched. Indeed. Also, is there, is there no music in this? You are now entering Terran Alliance control space. Welcome to the Chaos Cloud. Greetings, Commander. Oh, you're Captain Romulus, are you? You're going to kill your brother? Oh, and you command the Chris and Marius. <laughs> and now he's got some proper nouns occasionally appearing. This is what you gave me, right? Hell yeah. Go to this fire and belly. Uh, it's such a sporadic accident of grammar. What? No. Thanks. I'll take you back up. What a fun ship. I can change the internal one. Thanks, Captain. Yeah. Now. Hey, newbie. I'm Captain Octavius. Of course. I'm holding your hand for this simple mission. Giving fatherly advice, helping you blast hostiles. Just stay close to me, and you should be fine. And remember, it's important to have fun. Is it now? Is it important to have fun? Yes. Yes. Okay. So. It doesn't appear to center very well on my ship. No, because there's no... Okay, cool. So I can look at it that way. Yes. All engines stop. Okay. Stopping. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so that's how you move. You press M. Ah, camera's a bit jittery. So we're heading over to here. I'm guessing. Engaging engines. I'd love, 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 love to see a clear button. Because I mean, I know I didn't use the tutorial, but I like to think that these days we could at least, you know. No thanks. I don't want to. Yes. So that'll center me up. Okay. Yes. Graphically, that's yeah, interesting. Um, we appear to be on a uh, flat plane, though. I mean, it, it's 
not hideous, but I mean, you get that close, you really don't want to. The texture details are not, not. Your old hatch isn't prepared for combat, damage, Commander. These pitiful frigates shouldn't pose a problem for us. Now, let's see how your relic handles in battle. On the move. I'm gonna swing around like that. Bearing on enemy. Bearing on target. It's I mean not terrible, it's a little clunky perhaps to, to play. Um It's fairly straightforward, of course, you've got auto attack and everything, which is nice. We'll probably pursue them. Yes, Commander. Where's the, where, where's the point? Okay, so he just. I had to tell him to go. That's a kill, Commander. Of course. Hmm? Yes, Commander? Oh. Course sure laid in, Commander. Yes, They're Commander. They're firing at us! Are they? Are they really? Nothing but the two left. Firing on enemy. So a right click will order him to attack someone. Ah, I'm awake. But it won't. Engaging engines. Uh, I can double click to move. Okay. That's a bit better. Engaging engines. It's it looks a little bit clustered, and there's no sort of indication really to my range. It seems. Yes, yeah, I'd like to see when I click on those. I have no new extent. We are under attack. Um, it'd be nice to see. Okay, I've got mouse over and see my range. So, that ship of yours, it's from the 20th century, oh, come on. Honor, right? I think I remember seeing about it in some documentary on World War II. It was a floating kitchen of some sorts, specializing in chica aloe rusty bucket. <laughs> Looks upgraded. Better use of internal space. Turret mounts added. Not bad. Not bad at all. Really, that that's if that's the standard of writing for this game, I am worried. Moving out. Moving out. Hmm. Aye, aye, Commander. On the move. Hmm. What do you make Moving my ship out. zero? What would you make it? One. Commander. The controls are genuinely just a bit frustrating, to be honest. Um, and I don't think that'd be—I don't think that'd be saved by doing the tutorial, which I didn't do, because. Um, yes, Commander. And I mean, those. Are, oh, come on! Those. There's not even really an attempt to make that come out of the. Um, the the flat images that are the thrusters on this ship. Um, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't pull you in because so much time I think you're going to be battling with the the interface. It's, I mean, I can't see crap. Yeah. Like, there I am. But, you know. Moving out. It, it's hard to see what's going on. It's, it's constantly. Attacking. Yes. Aye, aye, Commander. On the move. Engaging drive. Course laid in, Commander. On the move. Mm. And I love that he's giving me shit about the ship that Bubba couldn't have, you know, he's, he has no information on. While using apparently the most useless vessel in the entire existence of anything, it's, it's crap. Commander? 
Oh my god. Um, as a demo. Taking damage, Commander. I mean, they've done the, the sort of simple problem so Here's the here's a tiny bit of the game that you can play and sort of boat around in and everything. And I mean, it's not hideous. It's just it doesn't feel polished. It doesn't feel like the controls are particularly good. Um, Targets destroyed. Well, that wasn't so hard now, was it? <laughs> Pirates have always been a bit of a problem around here. They raid our cargo ships, steal our ore and water, and enslave our people. It's always satisfying just to blast them to hell. The Terran Alliance pays bounty for each confirmed kill. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'm going to play anymore because I think I've got a general feel for what this is like. Hold on. Let's just see. Let's just have a look at this. Oh my god. You've got all this space, and that's all you put in there? Yeah. Uh, let's see. You can, you can set up formations, which is nice. But it's just everything is poorly laid out, it's poorly polished, it's not particularly well sort of realized, I think. I think they, they had a really good idea of what they wanted to do, but I don't know, maybe they don't have the experience to to uh, put it up or or, or, or or something. I'm not sure. It's just everything's a bit messy, sort of jumbled together, which is a real shame because I think well polished and well thought out this game could actually be very, very good. Um, I do love my space simulators. But, hmm, as to it as a demo, well, it does sort of everything a demo should, I guess, but perhaps they could have picked a more exciting scenario to get people to want to play it. I've talked about this before um, in other videos where, yes, you can just put the start of the game, but the start of the game needs to be riveting. I don't know if this is the start of the game or not. If it is, it's a very abrupt start. But the thing is, for me, it's just... A demo needs to make you want to play the game, and this doesn't make me want to play anything. Some of the ships. Yeah. They're just sitting in a mustard, mustard colored cloud. Um, and in a regular shaped sun. Um, yeah, I mean, it does what a demo should do, but the ultimate question that I always ask in these videos is, of course, um, would I buy this game? based on the demo. And no, I really wouldn't. I think you'd have to be a really hardcore Space Sim fan to buy the game based on this demo. So, everyone, that's Keres, the goddess of agriculture, or possibly a yeah, dwarf planet. Um, it is available for $20 on Steam at present. If you're willing to pay that much money for a game that seems like it's really not a full launch, and there we go, it just crashed. That's that's awkward. Um, yeah, you can get it on Steam, and I'm still wondering why there's no music, which is really bizarre. Alright everyone, there you go. The Carrier's Demo, that's our demo impressions for the weekend, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.